This week, we're in County Mayo with Cork native television presenter Sinead Kennedy. I spent a lot of my childhood travelling around and caravanning with my family all over the country, but Mayo is just one of those places I have yet to discover. Apart from, you know, going on a session in Westport and climbing Crow Patrick with friends, that's about all the experience I have with this particular county. So I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what kind of a gem it is. I'm going to be doing two trails today. The first one starts here in Loch Lana in Castle Bar, and I'm going to go along the Greenway to Turlock, as I would have called it, but Turla, I think, is how the locals pronounce it, so I'm learning already. The second trail then that I'm going to be doing is the Largan Moor Loop, just outside Foxford. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm used to being outside, I'm happy enough with that anyway, so it doesn't bother me. I've got all the gear on, so I'm ready to go. The western slopes of the Ox Mountains in Mayo are the location of some of Ireland's finest walks. The Loganmore Loop is not far from Foxford. For Sinead's first trail today, she will cycle on the Greenway from Castle Bar to the National Museum at Turlock, starting at Loch Lana. Loch Lana is a wonderful amenity for Castle Bar with lovely views of Mayo's most famous landmark, Crowpatrick. So I have all my gear in this trusty backpack rain gear. I've got some tea because, you know, you're going to be up a mountain wanting a cup of tea, obviously. Gloves, because no doubt it's going to be freezing. And of course, a map. The one you're going to need for this particular trail is the Ordnance Survey Discovery Series number 31. So that's very important, as well as my phone, just in case anybody needs to get in touch. And for the first bit, I've decided to do things a little bit differently. Obviously, safety first now, people. Helmets on. I haven't been on a bike in a while and I'm going to admit that the last time I was I came clean out over the handlebars. So I know it sounds ridiculous but I'm actually a little bit nervous. Castle Bar now has its own greenway which starts at this pedestrian bridge. The Greenway here has plenty to offer cyclists and walkers along the route through tree-lined countryside habitats. It takes two hours to walk it and about an hour to cycle the 8K route. The Greenway takes Sinead into Turlow Park. The parkland of 37 acres of lake and woodland walks date back to the 19th century when it was laid out by the Fitzgerald family who owned Turlough House. A branch of the family lived in the Victorian Gothic House until 1991, when it became part of the National Museum of Country Life. The museum tells the story of Irish country life, including farming and social entertainment from 1850 to 1950. You don't really have the time to, to be out in nature and enjoy the fresh air and, and, and enjoy everything as much as you can when you bills to pay. Or I suppose life gets in the way, doesn't it? You have to set aside more time for things like this, you know, because you get so much out of it. Sinead is now travelling to Foxford for her next trail. Lagermore Mountain is about eight kilometres from Foxford. Foxford is famous for its woolen mills, which is one of the last handcrafted weaving mills in the west of Ireland. The journey to the Loganmore Trail goes through some lovely scenery around Ardmachew and Glendough Lake. The landscape is a mixture of fertile fields side by side with wild areas of uplands covered in blanket bog and heather, revealing stunning views of the Ox Mountains in Mayo. Sinead has arrived at the trailhead between Glenduff and Loganmore Mountain. <sighs> Lovely stuff. Here I am at the trailhead for the Loganmore Loop, which is the walk I'm going to do right now. It's about 14 kilometres in total. We're in the heart of the Ox Mountains. I can see Crow Patrick right there. And you know what? The weather's turned out to be fabulous. This is great. The first part of the Loganmore Loop will take Sinead down the mountain road. 
a variety of country roads and laneways that circle the mountain will take her to the base of Lagan Moor, where she'll climb the mountain before returning to where she started. I definitely think walking, it gives you time to appreciate the scenery around you, the nature around you, the sounds, the smells, the sights, everything. You know, when you're in a car, you're obviously, hopefully, concentrating on driving. To be able to walk and do it all yourself, it's a great sense of achievement as well, which obviously you don't get when you're driving, you know? Sinead is fortunate today to be able to see clear views of Mayo landmarks like Crow Patrick, Loch Conn and Nathan Mountain, which at 800 metres is the second highest peak in Connacht. Nathan comes from the Irish Nephin, meaning sanctuary. Sinead's first guide is local farmer Jean Beatty, who helped Mayo County Council design this loop walk. Nice to meet you. Come here, I believe you know everything about this route. Because it's quite hilly as well, I suppose. It's got a bit of everything, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's got this lovely, officially a tarred road, but actually um, very little traffic on it. As you can see, there's uh, the grass up the middle and it's very, very quiet. It's very scenic. Mm -hmm. This used to be used much, much more by local people. They used to cross the mountains for social events and the mountains were more densely populated than it is now. And I used to go with my parents, and my father in particular used to love fishing. And we wow. used to go up as, as very small children and picnic and spend the whole day running around. On the very right top? Yes, right on the top. There's at least three lakes up on the top of the mountain. What you're looking at right now is the side of the mountain. As you can see, it's absolutely covered in loose boulders and rocks. And those are actually glacial erratics from the last ice age. And that represents the end of the ice cover in Ireland. It didn't get any further west than this at this point. It gives it a very rugged look. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> There's loads and of flowers as well, great cover in that regard. There's lots of different kinds of heather and knapweed. And, and then this lovely feathery, creamy white one um, that we have is um, meadow sweet. And that's a fantastic plant for making herbal teas. Oh, wow, okay. I dry it myself and gather it every summer and, and dry it and uh, use it for teas. It's terrific if you've got headaches and it's very soothing. A kind of a um, natural remedy. A natural remedy, yeah. Oh, well, there you go now. I might yeah. take some of this home. <laughs> <laughs> and come here, I'm dying to come across some goats. Everybody's talking about wild goats. and Feral goats, the real old Irish goat, as opposed to just farm ones that have broken out. The dominant herd and the main herd is, is run by a matriarch. Tell me a little bit about the land. I mean, is this privately owned? Could we just walk this... wherever we want or how does that work? No, this area here is commonage. The commonage is shared by all the farmers who own property on the hills or bordering the hills. And all this walking is possible because of the courtesy of the farmers who allow access to the public. So if you find a gate open, you can leave it open, but if it's closed, close it again. You just have to observe the countryside rules. So just leave it as code. you found it. Leave it as you found Basic it. Basic exactly. manners then. Leave no trace. You can have all seasons in one day, as they say. <laughs> But, you know, if you need shelter for a few minutes, chances are it's only a shower and it'll blow off. You step under a bush for a few minutes and hopefully the sun will be out yeah, again. Right. <laughs> so this is where I'm going to leave you now. All right, OK, come here. Um, thank you so much for everything and for guiding me along. You're welcome. What do you think I can expect now the rest of the way along? Nice and flat here for the next mile or so. You turn up the hill and all the way up through the Hazelwood. Um, where the goats come out and you may or may not see some but uh, probably not this time of the year. Oh, but don't say yourself. that. Enjoy Wish yourself. me luck anyway. Bye Thanks bye. Jean. Take care. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. Jean said it's one of those walks that although it's very exposed it's so easy to access and that's a great thing about it. I mean it's easy to walk as well because you've got the you know the tar road and the boreen and the grass and all that kind of, for the most part. I mean, it's boggy in parts, don't get me wrong, and you should bring your wellies, maybe. I don't mind walking in the rain. I don't think you can be Irish and live in Ireland and be bothered about the rain. I feel like a kid again. <laughs>